something similar to what Colorado's doing in terms of the turnaround of the last year? Um, I would say, I think Tulane. I think Tulane, you know, I think that they were pretty low the year before, and then last year they had a you know, great year, I would say, as far as like turnaround teams. I imagine it's impressive to you guys just how good. I mean, the game last year with Colorado wasn't competitive. Most of their games weren't. This year, 3-0 as a ranked team. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Impressive. It's amazing to see that turnaround, for sure. Coach, has, Coach has been talking about play the game, not the occasion. Mm -hmm. like, what does that mean to you? How would you describe what's the right way to go about things for you guys? Just uh, don't make the moment bigger than what it is. You know, it's another football game, and we're going to attack our prep like we've done in the past. We're not going to do anything different that we haven't done before. So just stick to our, uh, our, our script and what we've been doing. Keeping the main thing the main thing. This might be a very simple question, but watching them last year on film and now watching them this year, what's just the biggest difference? What pops out to you this offense? I mean, it's a different team. It's a completely different football team. They got a whole a lot of new weapons on, on the field, a lot of playmakers, so you gotta account for all that. You face plenty of offenses, different variety, different schemes. Guys like to take deep shots. Last week, they, they tried. Mm -hmm. they did. Here, they, they do more than try. Mm -hmm. um, you guys do a great job of keeping the lid on the coverage. Some has to get this week. What's what's it about this matchup? What they do to, to throw the ball deep that makes them unique as a challenge? They believe in their skill players. They believe in their skill players. Even I've noticed on film, even if they're covered up, they're still throwing the ball to their their skill players because they believe their players are playmakers. So you know, that's that's about it, pretty much. What what is it about Horn and Weaver, their top two receivers uh, outside of Hunter? Besides the I think they're great receivers, fast guys, run nice crisp routes. You know, so. Yes, when you look at this matchup, just what are you most excited for kind of on the field to see, uh, you talked about them being just playmakers, like what, what are you most excited to kind of prove when you go up against a team right now that there's a lot of hype around them? You know, I'm excited to play them because they have a lot of great wide receivers and they're going to test our defense, test our secondary. And you know, last year we didn't have the best secondary and this year, you know, we started off pretty good. So like, so I think it's going to be a great competition for us, a great, uh, great matchup. I look forward to that. What do you feel like the improvements have been for just your unit? Just like you said, you feel like you played better. It's shown up in games. Where do you feel like the improvements have been? It's been tighter, tighter coverage. We've communicated better. We we understand what we're doing in our defense. It's year two in the defense. Like so, we're playing faster. We got a, a lot of new additions like a uh, Kyrie Jackson and a uh, Tyshin Johnson in the back end. So it's 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 been a great great help. I wonder just how the chemistry has come along in the secondary with so many new faces. You've mm -hmm. performed pretty well. Do you feel like that's come along maybe quicker than expected, or how would you, I guess, assess that? We do a lot of walkthroughs. We do a lot of practices, and we do a lot of film. We talk to each other a lot. We we have great connection with each other. We understand how each other play and how we're going to, you know, communicate on the field, and that's just pretty much what's been the tale of going from January up to now. Coach just talked about the penalties. Now you haven't mm -hmm. committed any, but how did – what has been addressed by way of uh, accountabilities and those things to, to you guys as players and what can you do to help the defense avoid some of the penalties that have been happening? We just we got to be a smart football team, man. Just understanding, you know, at times when you need to pull off of the quarterback when the ball's released, not hitting the quarterback and getting that unnecessary roughness, you know, limit limit some of those pass interference calls and, you know, just play a uh, clean football. So it starts at practice. So we play clean, pra uh, clean football at practice, it, it'll translate to the game. Game have a particular meaning to you. I mean, go back two years ago. That's when the injury happened, I believe. Go back to last year. There was a big play with a little bit of confusion in the, in the secondary. Does, does there does this have any particular meaning to you or not? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. As someone who's played with Popo before and then he couldn't play last year, just what's his impact been like this season? Just your view from from your spot in the defense. He's a hell of a player, and the last couple of games we're getting sacks and we're a better football team when he's on the field so I'm glad to have him on the team and I'm glad he's healthy and playing playing that great football player that we expect him to play. Shadour is really good at keeping plays alive mm -hmm. for your, especially for you as a safety mm -hmm. what challenges and I guess stress does that put on you when you have a quarterback who can keep a play going for so long and still find players downfield? You got to make sure you pass the receivers don't get lost and the fact that you think you might have gotten tackled or the receiver route might have been done but the quarterback keeps the play alive, so receivers scramble. So you got to make sure you pass the receivers. That's the big, biggest thing. And we did a lot of practice. So.